people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey of my YouTube how-to videos. Um, if you're new, please think about subscribing. <clears throat> and if you're our OG, I want to welcome you back. I have a frog in my throat. I don't know what's with that. So anyways, I want to start off with, I hope you enjoyed the last video with this amazing tray with the washi tape stickers and Laura's glitters. I think it turned out amazing. I think someone's going to like that as a Mother's Day present. And secondly, I want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. Hope you all get spoiled. Hope you all have fun today. And it's all about family and I love that. So with that being said, I want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. Um, today we're going to get into a video. We're going to make resin flowers. We are going to paint wallpaper on a wooden board and we're going to put a teacup in there as well to have as a vase for my flowers. So we're making this amazing little picture. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I hope you stick around and yeah, I'll see you in a second. I'm going to get my working clothes on and we're going to get right into this. I'll see you in a bit guys. Okay, I'm excited. So I've got my working clothes on and we are good to go. So I, if you had not seen my little dragon egg, I had extra resin. So I had used these molds to make some flowers. So there's the one. I wish I had a whole bunch of these molds. I bought this one off of Timu. I think it was $3 on Amazon. I looked because I wanted to get it here like tomorrow. Two of them were $24. That's crazy. But anyways, so I ordered more from, <laughs> from them for these. But I thought it was just adorable. So my brain is going here. So we are going to make another one of these because I have the one here. I have a pink rose and we're going to make two more roses and one more of these and we're going to put it on our canvas this is a wood cradle board from michael's it is a 11 and a half by 14 inch and i have a teacup which i had previously cut um i have a video and i will link it in the in the end cart or end whatever um, where I had showed you how to do this I bought myself a diamond little wheel for my um, Dremel tool and cut it in half like easy peasy so I'm going to put that down and we we're gonna put our flowers in that and I thought we would do you know some I just love these. I wish I could have had them all with that. So we do one there, one here, and then we'll do another of the heart ones here, another rose, and then probably another rose in here. Okay, and these have the diamond from Let's Resin, the holographic glitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, so that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to remove all of this and we're going to put all of this together. So one of them, I am going to use some of Laura's, um, move that right out of the way. All right. I thought I would try. Laura had given me this one. It's called Magnolia Shimmer. And I also have the White Shimmer Dust. And to me, they're kind of the same. I might be wrong, but just looking at them. But this Magnolia has such shinier, like, I don't know. They both look like the same consistency. So I'm going to use this one. This is the Magnolia Shimmer. I'm going to put that in one of the roses. And then I thought I would come back 
just in case it doesn't completely cover because I was playing around with this one. So I don't know if it completely covers. And then I will come back in with this candy apple blossom um, mica powder from Laura's Art Corner. And we'll put that behind it to pick up anything that it misses. The other rows, I am going to use my Mica Flakes from Laura's Art Corner. This one is called Ecstasy. We'll put that in one of them. And then I'm going to do the gold holographic glitter. So let's get to business. And we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I just have to be mindful and pay attention to where you are. And I'm just getting into all of the little grooves. I hope you're all having a wonderful Mother's Day. I am just, I only have one day off and I am taking my husband to the trailer. My Mother's Day gift is getting rid of my, <laughs> um, losing my husband for the, for the next week. So the trailer season begins. And I want to kind of make sure I get into all of those because this has got some pretty deep. Like if you see how, I don't know if you can see that. It's got some pretty deep grooves in there. So you want to get in between each and every one of those little grooves. That's why I thought I would do it with um, this first and then come in and do the other just in case it doesn't um, take because I've never used this one but like this before. But I want to get into those deep little crevices. All right, so that's enough of that one. So we'll put that away. I'll set it in my little bucket so I can tell everybody what I'm using. And then we're gonna come in with the candy apple. It is such a pretty color. Oops, sorry. Pretty color. Okay, so we're gonna come in with this and give it a coat. And hopefully, because I can see it in there, but I wanna make sure If anything is missing, we'll have this pretty deep reddish color. And it might not work. But I'm willing to try. There. Oh, I can see the shimmer in it. I can see the color. Oh, what is my zipper's hitting the little cup and I'm like what is that noise sorry guys there we go I'm gonna oh I should oh, I should not have done that oh well we have a little bit of uh of the other stuff in there I'm just gonna get rid of what's on my brush we'll brush it around that looks so, pr sorry, pretty. We'll put that one down in my little bucket. I'm gonna brush off the pigment. Now, I don't know which one. <sighs> Let's do. Oh, it flips inside out. Oh, that makes it so much easier. I'm not worried about the little bits of glitter that's in there. If that's going to do it this way, I'm going to use this. I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath me as I'm doing it. And we're going to use this ecstasy in here and we will do the gold in there. And... 
because someone was telling me to use this. It's better with that. Because it is so pretty. Like, look how pretty that is. Okay. So, here we go. What I'm going to do is try to get, and I might not fill this up right to the rim. Let me get it even before I, I hope I don't run out of it. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty, guys? It's very flyaway. You know what? I might come in and do the same thing. I'm going to switch to this because this seems to be pick, picks it up more. Want to get into the grooves. And it's it's almost like it's got gold leaf in it, is what I'm seeing here. Like leafing. Obviously it's not gold leaf because it's it looks like it's pink. I used this one on the edging of one of my bloom posters. And it is very pretty. go let me see if I can pick up no maybe not let me just get in here and pull all right I think we're almost done on this one just get a little I'm not gonna go all the way well maybe I will We'll go where I can. Whoop. It flies everywhere. Okay, I'm going to unzoom you because I feel bad because I keep... I feel like I keep getting you out of focus, out of the frame. go one more time in the center because I want to make sure all of those little crevices are done. And then we're going to flip it. And do it some more. I'm going to get around the edges around the where it flipped to make sure that I've got it everywhere. 
because I can see some white spots. Well, maybe it's not. Holy Toledo, that took almost the whole thing, but I think that's going to be gorgeous. So let me put my lid on this. <laughs> There's not much left in there. I'm just going to put the lid on. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. <sighs> my fingers don't want to work most days. All right, there we go. And I'll put that in my little bucket. Now I'm going to put another color behind it. Um, let me see. Oh, I don't know which. There's gold in there. So maybe I'll put some of this behind it. This is my pigmente. Per Arteste, I always say it wrong, guys. You're probably making fun of me right about now, and this one's pale gold. <laughs> so I'm just going to scoop in here and just add it, and it'll pick up anything that was missed. we go that's gonna be pretty all right so that's that I'll put that in my little bin and then next we're gonna do the gold holographic in this one and I said like I want to make sure you get into all those little nooks and crannies and the only thing is with these molds, they are matte, so they're not going to be overly shiny. I'm just going to get into all those little nooks and crannies. These are an amazing buy. Especially that, especially this one. And then I'm gonna use my resin and we will get that in there so we can cure it, so we can have some fun and make the rest. So let me just give this a tap because you kind of want to take out what's extra. You don't want it kind of just floating in there. Look, that's pretty. So we have gold. We're going to have like a pinky, purpley gold. And this is going to be a shimmery white pink, pinky red. And now, with further ado, I am going to mix up my resin. And as always, my resin, I do wear my respirator as I am mixing. When I come back, I will not have the respirator on. Uh, by my choice. So please use all of your PPE. Make yourself safe and healthy. And with that being said, I'm going to mix up my resin. And actually today I'm going to use the fast curing resin from Let's Resin. Um, this is their starter kit. It comes with the mixing cups. It comes with the little pour cups. It comes with the pepettes or pepes or whatever you want to call those. Um, comes with some mylar flakes. And it comes with tweezers. So with that, my friends, I'm going to mix that up. And we're going to be right in there. So yeah, so this is the one-to-one. Two parts, same amounts. And I'll be right back, guys. 
Okay, I am back. I have mixed up 80 milliliters, which is probably a little more than an ounce and a half in my cup here. I am using crystal resins. This is my black pigment paste. And I am just going to give it a good stir. And in we go. That should be enough. Let me just switch sticks here. And I'm going to set that there for the moment. And we're going to stir in that black. And if I don't have these filled right up to the rim, I'm not too worried. Because we are... Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Just want to make sure it's all mixed. All right, here we go. Put that out of the way. And I'm just going to not fill it to the top yet because I want to do a little shiggy, shimmy wimmy. And then I will... I want to do this so that I can get all of the air bubbles that are maybe in there. See, they're coming out. Squishy, wishy, jiggly, wiggly, however you want to call it. And the same with this guy. And like I said, if these aren't 100%, um, Filled to the top, I'm not worried. This one, just little wiggly jigglies. You can see the bubbles. And I'm not running any anything through them. I'm not putting a stick in it or anything. So let me get some of my 99% alcohol. A little spritz. little spritz and then let me just a little bit on these guys so these guys will be full and then let's just pour the rest in here look at that 80 ounces 80 ounces oh my goodness 80 milliliters that's the thing with being Canadian. When I was in grade, I think it was grade seven, we went from imperial to metric. Confused the crap out of me. <laughs> but anyways, I still, and I think most Canadians are that way, go between inches and millimeters and all that stuff. So there we go, we have enough. I wasn't sure if I'd have to mix more, so that's pretty cool. So with that, my beautiful people, I'm gonna give it one more spritz. I'm gonna wipe these off. I like wiping these off as soon as I use it, and then that way it is clean and all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys when these are cured, and we're gonna get into making some bouquets. I'm excited. Okay, let me do one more spritz. Spritz, spritz, spritz. All right. Perfect. I'll see you in a bit, guys. I'm excited. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Open this. Oh my goodness. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. Oh, still just a little soft. I couldn't wait, guys. 
Just get that. Oh, there we got released. Oh, the gold is beautiful. That'll look nice because it's got that color with. So there's our four flowers so far. Oh, what a glimpse I see. Are you ready? Oh, that's pretty. That's got the, that ecstasy, the, I like that. So these are our flowers to go on our little bouquet. Let's try, I was thinking, maybe the gold. Kind of like this. And our teacup down here. So I'm going to get my stuff together and we're going to play with that. Grab my board. We're going to do something to the board. So we will have this down here and our flowers will be sort of like this. Their little stems wondering if there's one too many they want to get some stems oh we'll probably put them all in there I like that I think that's gonna be cool so with that my friends I'm gonna get my stuff together and we are gonna paint our board and we'll be right back. Oh, I am in love with these flowers. I just love them. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, I am back. So we've made our flowers, so now we're gonna get into the board. Now, in my little brain, I wanna make this look like a wall. So I'm gonna base coat it <clears throat> some form of a yellow. I've got three or four yellows here because I want it to kind of blend in with the cup and I think it'll pop the flowers. Then I'm gonna come back with my stencil and make it look like wallpaper. And I'm gonna use my parchment to come back instead of a stark white. Um, with that being said, also I am doing, this is just a 1 8 inch dowel, which I have painted green for a previous video that I did. So I'm going to use that as the stems. I have some moss that I will be putting in the cup as well. And are you ready for it? I'm going to make it look like it's sitting on a table. My amazing co-worker, I have this in an oval, is going to cut it in half for me. But it won't get done in today's video just because I want this up for Mother's Day and it will not be done if I do it if I have to wait for that. So my brain, I wanted it here. I'm gonna show you at the end, but I wanted it to be like this. So it looks like the teacup is sitting on top of the table. I have little doily stickers that look like doilies and I will put the doily over top the side of the table, which is, I think it's gonna be cool, but that won't happen today. But I wanna do is measure to see exactly, because I want it to be flush with the board. So I'm just gonna get a depthness of where to put this. So, you, so it looks like it's on there. So we can have it all ready. And then when the board comes, I can just put it on and I'll probably do that in a separate video and show you the whole thing all together. So let's get doing some paint. I'm excited. I opted to do, let me just put this aside, a we're gonna do a, a brush, a roll today. Let me just make sure there's nothing on this. Linty free. All right, so let's just see what we got. We have some cadmium yellow hue, a metallic. Okay, we gotta go with the metallic. Like that's a no brainer. Okay, and I'm just gonna pour it on the board. And we're just going to roll, roll, roll. 
and because I know this is gonna this is raw wood and I know it's gonna take a lot I should have put down a base coat of white you know what I don't know if I like this we're gonna go we're gonna go <laughs> I'm allowed to change my mind. Is that not what us women are allowed to do? I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna use my big brush. I'm just gonna wet it a bit. Give it a shake off. I'm gonna put the paint in here though. And let's see what we got. And we're just gonna pick it up. I always like to crisscross just to get the paint on there. And then come back. I hope you're all having an amazing Mother's Day. My Mother's Day, I'll be spending helping my hubby get all set up at his home away from home as of Monday well tomorrow I guess Mother's Day for me he will be living at the trailer all right I'm gonna damn I'm gonna put this in a little bit of water in a cup so I can just dampen that a little bit I did have a spray bottle of water. Probably worked just as well. I just want to dampen my brush just a little because it's starting to dry a little. And if I see the wood grain through, that is not a bad thing. I see a little bit of a, there's always stuff. Nothing can ever, Oh my goodness gracious. Go, get off. Piece of lint. Oh my goodness, Sherry. <laughs> oh, it would not be a Sherry video if uh, something did not go right. All right, I'm gonna do another little bit of paint in here. And we're gonna do one more quick little coat. We're gonna get the sides and I'm gonna let this dry. I'm just gonna do a little did the wrong container. <laughs> so a little bit of water just to thin it out. Why am I getting all these little pieces of stuff? That is craziness. <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. Now let me... Oh my goodness. See, this is my story of my whole life, guys. <laughs> nothing goes correct. Nothing ever goes as planned. And welcome to Sherry's channel. I am not Instagram worthy. I am me. This is me in my craft room painting. So mishaps happen and that is life. I'm just gonna put some more paint over where the water spilled. <laughs> right? Life happens, guys. There, I have to get in there and give it a good shake in there. 
There we go. Now, now I will do the sides. Let me put a little more paint on my... There we go. Oh my goodness, Sherry. And here we go. Just easy peasy sides. See? My hands aren't working, guys. I don't know what's up with my hands. <laughs> My grip on things aren't very good. There we go. I like to push it up so that it doesn't affect the top part of your painting, as I mentioned them. There we go. But you want to make sure you get all, this is the wood. You want to make sure you get all in there. No, I didn't prep the back. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. I didn't tape it, but I will tape it actually before I do the next step because I'm putting resin on this, so it needs to be taped. And again, like I said, I'm not hating seeing this, um, the wood grain. And I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry over here, away from everything. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> clean up my mess, clean up my water that's on the floor, and I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I am back. I have my stencil down. I just wanted to tap it a little to make sure that it was gonna work for me. I know I have to hold it. I wanted to use some of my Gorilla. I don't have any stencil tacky stuff and I didn't want to use the Gorilla Glue the spray adhesive because I was afraid it would take the paint off so we're winging it my friends I have this brush that I bought and there's no name on it I'm pretty sure it was a stencil brush that I bought from Michaels I have my artist loft this one is called parchment and we're going to put that on top of this so I've got my brush already primed here and we're just going to tap up and down And I'm hoping that I don't ruin it. I really have never really like stenciled, so to speak. And this one is nice. It's got lines to show me like a grit line. And I know you shouldn't go too heavy with the paint because you don't want it to seep and you don't want to rub it. So you tap up and down and I hope we have success. Because <laughs> at least it's only paint. We can come back if need be. I'm afraid to move my hand. Okay. It's bubbled there. Imperfections. We can hide it with the flowers. I'm hoping. your eyes your toes everything wish me luck hopefully it turns out okay 
mess. I'm putting my hands in. And again, this is going to be covered with the teacup and we're putting the flowers on. <laughs> All right, I'm saying that's it. Let me just. All right. OMG, it worked. Oh my gosh. It is amazing when something works. I'm, I amaze. <laughs> I have good intentions and I amaze myself when it actually works. I'm going to bring you up so you can see. Look at that. That turned out cute. I was afraid because I was seeing it lift up as I was stamp or as I was painting. I've got my little uh, paint. There. I put my paints underneath so I had something level to stamp. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Where's my teacup? Where's my teacup? See, now that is going to be cute. And the flowers. All right, I'm going to let this dry. And then after it is dry, I will, I haven't taped it yet. I will tape underneath because we are going to put resin on. I'm just going to give it a blow dry. I'm trying to get off the little extras off the side. There we go. I'm excited. Okay, I'll see you in a sec, guys. All right, my friends, this is dry. I am so excited this turned out. Now, I just laid this out, just a rough idea. And what I'm doing, because we are not gonna do the table part today, that will be in a part two. So I will do it on Monday, but next Sunday's video will be me putting the table part on. So what I did, this is the same, it's the same thickness, but the one I have is oval. So what I did is I made sure it's flush to the board on the bottom, like here, flush. And then I put my teacup, let me see, flush, put my thumb there, and give a little bit of a lenience. So that's how I come up with that. So before I do anything, I want to take my little Sharpie and I want to put a little bit of a tick here because it is also even. I want to make sure it's even as well. Let me get my tape out. Thank you, Dad. You gave me my tape. <laughs> so this board is a 11 inch. That's weird. An odd number. 11 inch. So five and a half whoops should be centered so let me just well, that's about pretty well even all right so i'm going to mark it with my sharpie just a fine tip sharpie and i'm just going to put a little dot here and a little dot here so i i have a mark where to put the edges of my teacup Awesome. And the flowers I just laid out, I'm not sure. I would have loved to have had them all this one, but because of the, I only have one mold, it would have taken me forever. So that's what I'm doing. So now what I'm going to do, I thought we'd do all this while my resin is upstairs having a bubble bath. So I'm going to take this and we're going to start cutting. And I'm going to hot glue them in there. I have a pair of scissors that I have never used that are um, mitered. I don't know where they are. I'm just, actually, these are glass nippers. It works just as well. So we'll do one there. We'll do... This little guy will go here for him. And 
this little guy will go about here for him. And this one will go about here. And I thought that I might glue these down first. When I was doing my other ones, I'll link them in the description box. All my other flower ones I've made like this with the teacups and actual teapots and stuff. Um, I will link that in the end card at the end of the video. So see, there's still so much left. One of these goes a long way. So that's fine. So we'll do that. I'm excited. So what I'm going to do is I'll plug in. That's what I'll do. I'll just kind of glue everything down and then pour resin on top. Not what I was doing before was I did a nice swift coat of resin and then I wiggled everything in. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll put a dab of glue under each flower and glue it down. And then I will glue the stems. And there is a little, as much as you try to get this evenly, here I'll show you. There, let me, actually, let me take a picture of this so I know where I'm putting it because sometimes it's easier to do it that way. So you have an idea of you, exactly where my little flowers went. So I'll show you. There is a, when you do these, and in, in the video that I'll link, it'll show you me cutting it with my Dremel tool. I'm just so impressed this turned out. So you know what, I'm gonna bring this up. Now do you see there's a gap? I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm not too worried about the bottom because like I said, we're gonna put, there's a gap. So I'm gonna do the glue gun. I'll glue everything down. I'm gonna plug it in. And I love you to death, Kimberly and Ben, but I still can't find the plug-in for my glue gun. It's probably upstairs. So I'm gonna show you these quickly. We're not using them in today's video, but these are the doily stickers I have. Those are actual stickers. And these ones are canvas doilies. So I didn't know, I'll probably use this one because it's an actual sticker. And I will be um, doing my table, like the little wood, I'm gonna stain it blue because I have this amazing blue stain that I used when I was doing my toll painting. So with that, my friends, I'm going to plug my glue gun in and we're going to get to some glue in. I'll see you in a sec, guys. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to glue my, my glue gun's ready. I'm going to glue all along the edge of my teacup. goes on the inside I'm not too worried I would rather it be on the inside than the outside and that silly thing there we go there, I gotta move quick so I don't my little dots that I've lined up there Can you see the gap? Can you see the gap in there? Perfect. Now, I will get my picture out, see where I put my flowers. There we go. So my picture where I had the flowers. So we are, this guy was about here. 
So we're gonna just glue on here. He's on. Now, this one was here. Just about here. And then this pretty girl was up here. This one was kind of here. And this little one was about there. Let's go. We're going to go with that. And just lots of glue. And then we'll glue the stems in. I don't want it to be bing, bing, bing. I don't want it to be three in a row. If that makes any sense at all. Don't want it to look like a line. And if my little stems are off, we can cut more. That's not a big deal. I guess that's there. Perfect. So now, Do that guy there. So I'm just going to glue along the edge if I can, real quick. Okay. And let's get that in here. So we will go. Perfect. Awesome. You guys can do whatever you want with the um, the stems. I just have used these before and I didn't mind them. So I figured I had it here and I'm trying not to buy anything else, guys. I am having, I've been trying to organize and I have so much stuff. Let me just get that here. Perfect. Now this little guy. We'll do this guy here first. The roses are nice because they can, these ones, because you can hide it underneath the lip of the flower. These ones don't have much to hide it from. You could actually, when you pull it out of your, um, mold you could actually probably put a hole in your flower and they're crisscrossed underneath i don't know if you can see it but it don't matter because i'm going to put 
I have moss and stuff that I was going to put in there. I don't want it to be on the front. This is going to hurt. There we go. No. There we go. Perfect. And then this lovely one. And really, you don't need to do it the whole strip. Just little bits. Like, see, I've got tacked here, here, and here. Just enough to hold it. Because, again, like I said, we're putting resin in there. There we go. I think that looks cute. And like I said, I don't know if you can see, do you see the, they're staggered in there. So let me get, I can now turn the glue gun off because we are done with that. Oh, there we go. Where's that board? I want to make sure. Now, now you can see, I was trying to make it, I don't know if you can see it's flush with the board and it'll sit there. I'm excited. Okay, let me grab my moss. I have moss in different colors. I have glittered moss, and I thought after it's all resined, I would put some of this actually in the cup and I have a few little things that hang out so maybe I'll put some of that in there as well so with that my friends I'm excited we're one step closer I'm just impressed with how <laughs> how my stencil turned out so with that I'm going to get my resin it is up in my bath in my kitchen sink having a nice warm bubble bath um, I always warm my resin up because I'm in the basement and it's always cold and I will have my mask on my respirator when I'm mixing when I come back as I always do I choose not to wear it so I can talk to you as I'm doing my crafting here but please 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 read all your health and safety regulations for any crafting not just resin any crafting make sure you're healthy stay safe because I want you to be here for next Mother's Day. So with that, I'm going to go grab my resin and I'll be right back. We are back. I have mixed my resin and I didn't mention what I was using. Um, this is crystal resin. This is a tabletop resin. Coats for your um, paintings. And it's the only resin they ever had when I first started with them. So I use this for everything. But they do now have the shallow casting and they also have the deep casting so this is the one today it is the tabletop one-to-one -one. and do I do it my friends um, I'm not sure if you've seen my last video this pretty tray see how that little bit of glitter in there do I do it I don't know <laughs> my name is Sherry and I'm an addict and I have a funny feeling that I'll be putting some of this white shimmer dust in my resin just to give it a little bit of something something because you know how it is a glitter loving girl i am okay so i'm going to use my little wee spoon i mixed up four ounces i did a resin calculator and they i find they always always tell me more than what i need so I always cut back a little. It was telling me I needed, this is a 11 by 14 inch canvas board. They were telling me that I needed five ounces. So I cut it back by an ounce. I hate wasting resin because uh, it is so nice and it's expensive. So this is the fairy dust. This is the white shimmer dust. I'm gonna put mine here. And again, 
if you watch the other video, are you ready? Sherry only put that much of that little wee dinky spoon. <laughs> We're doing the same. I'm going in, girls, boys. I am going in. I don't think I'll regret it. Because, you know, we have to have a little bit of sparkle. All right. Give it a good little bit in there. See, that it's just a little. Now, what I'm going to do... Don't be angry with me. I'm going to put my blow dryer on because I see stuff here and I just want it off. There. It's blowing all of that little bit of... I don't care about the glitter, but there was a couple things in there. So, this is going to be a little different because I've already got it on here. If you've watched my other videos where I've done... I'm just making sure you're all in there. Where I've done this type before, I have also placed everything in with the resin. I thought this was a better idea because it's not going to shift. So if your canvas is not 100% even, which it should be, but if it's not 100%, your things aren't going to shift. So with that being said, Let's get into this. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to pour around. I'm going to go over the stems. And then. And I like to use my hand. So I will be manipulating all of this around everything and I'm not too worried about like underneath this here because I'm remember I'm coming back in maybe I'll do a little short video in the middle of the week you'll get a bonus video with the um, putting me putting me putting the table on it Actually, let me just wipe this off. I always like to keep this, these little guys clean because they're hard to do after the fact. I'm going to get out my torch. Give it, ooh, ooh, give it a torch and help it move along. I'm going to put it up a little bit. It'll warm it up. I just don't want to hit the bare wood here we go gloved hands and here we go oh what is that all right i just want to get all around the flowers just get right up to the edge of the flowers And you could use your your tool here just to get oh, move them. I don't want to burn with me I would burn my arm sorry that was gonna hit me my arm um, there we go all around the edge of the cup And I do want the edge, but we're going to wait on that. I just want to bring it to the edge. There we go. That was easy. Okay, so now what I want to do is... I'm going to flip it around, guys, just so I can get in here. I'm going to get one of my tools, and we're going to manipulate him in there. Let me get 
a wide one. And we're just gonna manipulate that just to go down in. Doesn't have to be all the way in, because like I said, as long as because we're not gonna see anything in that. We're filling that all in. And it's better with my finger. These silly gloves are just a little too big. There we go. Now we will manipulate to the edge and over. Let me do this edge and then I'll put it back. And I like doing it with my hand because I can feel where the board is raw, like where there's no, there we go. Oh, that little bit of glitter and this perfect in there. And we'll see, I might do a second coat of the resin once, I'm gonna scoop and bring down here. Once I um, put the table on, I might decide to do a second coat, we'll see. Now this edge. And I just wanna even it out so it looks nice. Make sure it's all covered, I can feel no little ridges. And then I like to come on the edge and get what's there. Oh, my hands are all messy now. Let me grab this so I can wipe my hands off. And then we're going to give it all a torch. I think that little bit of glitter in there is amazing. Let me grab another. Here, forget it. We're going to swap out my gloves. I'm done. I'm just going to put one on because I'm not going to touch it with anything else. I just want to use my my torch to get rid of these little bubbles that are there. And here we go. see that little bit of glitter? Oh, I am so happy. It is neat when a plan comes together. I just want to get in here without setting my boards on fire, little pieces of wood. I think we're done. I think we're done. I don't see. And the thing is, it's wood. I am very bad because I probably should have done a very, very, like a coat because I'm seeing bubbles coming up. So I'm gonna have to keep coming in here and popping the bubbles. I have, you should seal the board really, really, really good. I probably should have done about two or three coats of paint on there instead of just that one little layer of the, um, the yellow where I could still see through because I don't know if you can see up there, it looks good, but down in this corner, I'm getting bubbles coming up. And we don't want bubbles in there. Oh, I love that little bit of glitter. That's pretty cool. All right, so with that, my friends, I'm gonna put my tent over top, my big one, so we can cover this and it does not get any dust because I'm in my basement. And I always have dust down here, no matter what I try to do. And with that, I'll see you when I get home from work, because I'm so excited. Not that I have to work. I'm excited about this. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Oh my goodness, it's all dry. I got my board cut at work yesterday, but I don't have time to do it 
for you guys to see it so that this is up for today. So we'll finish this off and I'll have that video up probably for Wednesday. So this is the half board. I'm going to have it so it sits like that so that it looks like it's sitting on the table. And I have these little doilies. We're going to put that there. So it looks like there's a doily on the table. Like that, isn't that cute? So with that, I'm going to leave it that. So we'll do that later. But I had to sh I'll finish this off. This is stunning. I am so with happy how this turned out. Here, let me just get my little paint out of here. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Now, I've got this moss with some glitter in. We're just going to put that right in here. I'm going to put that right in there. I know it's making a mess right now, but let's... Like that. And I think that finishes that off. I think that's cute. There we go. Well, my beautiful people, I hope you all have an amazing Mother's Day and treat yourself, relax, have fun, and I hope you all get spoiled. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a share if you like it. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please think about subscribing. That would be awesome. And don't forget to push your name in there. <laughs> Sorry, put your locations in the description box and I will carry on with my map. I will get at that on Monday when I come back from taking my husband to the trailer. I'll push all my last three videos <laughs> in. And yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go through my sponsors because I love to share all these amazing people. So let's start with the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, my La American Larez distributor. We use the glitters and stuff in here today. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Moulton 10%. Uh, my amazing Canadian Larez distributor Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Moulton 10, capital S, capital M. Also, I have the links for Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And don't forget, I also have the link in there for the American, the Canadian, and the UK. And that discount code is good for all three. I have Crystal Resin, which is what we used here today in the flowers and the coating of the board. Um, my discount code for Crystal Resin is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And then I have the Washi Tape Shop. Uh, my discount code for the Washi Tape Shop is Sherry, all capital letters, 10. And then I also have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds. I also have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I also have the link to where to buy Tri Art Liquid Glass. And I have my Amazon links, which I'm an affiliate, and my PayPal is there if you choose to donate to help support my channel. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Mother's Day. Love you guys. Bye.